Hello, it's Dr. Sandy Baird, owner of Riverstone Chiropractic in Oakland, California. Today we're going to be talking about plantar fasciitis. What is plantar fasciitis? You may have heard of this as heel pain. First thing in the morning, you wake up, your heel is killing you. You can't even go to the bathroom, you, you, know, you sit your foot down on the floor, and it's just, it's so painful and it's so tender. Oftentimes you'll press in on the bottom of your foot and you can just barely tolerate pressure, even standing, walking, running, all these things that you normally want to do, they cause you pain. So why is it called plantar fasciitis? Well, if you think about the tissue on the bottom of the foot, there's a, a structure. It's not a muscle, but it's a structure. It's connective tissue. It runs from the toes through to the heel. And it actually, through fascial connections, continues into the calf and into some of the structures in the back of the leg. But primarily, we're talking about the plantar fascia. Plantar meaning bottom of the foot, and fascia meaning a connective tissue. So anytime that the foot, ankle, lower leg, really at all, gets overworked, the plantar fascia and some of the other structures have developed adhesions. So you can watch my other video on YouTube about what are adhesions and how are they treated but we're specifically looking at plantar fasciitis here and how to treat this with active release techniques. So in order to treat the plantar fascia, you have to go actually through another structure. If you look at this anatomy diagram, and uh, you'll like this anatomy nerds, so you can see that there's the plantar fascia, which is the structure on the two sides of the foot, and then you have something called the aponeurosis that runs right down the middle of the foot. And so both of these structures develop adhesions, and both are highly treatable with active release techniques. Now, if you were just to address the structures on the bottom of the foot, that might get you 10 or 20% better, but you're really not looking at the whole picture. So why has the foot gotten so inflamed in the first place? Now, sometimes it really is just a problem on the bottom of the foot. You do some active release techniques, you do some taping, maybe a little Graston, the problem goes away. But more often than not, the problem is coming from higher up. So some of the things that I've noticed in my clients is the hip or glute weakness, tightness in the hips or glutes, um, joint fixations that are causing the biomechanics to get off. These are some of the other things that can cause a pain in the foot, right? It's kind of crazy. Something's going on in the hip, but it actually affects you down the foot. But the body is pretty amazing and pretty complex. I am so grateful that I'm in a place that I get to study the body all day long and help people um, figure out the cause of the problems. So that's plantar fasciitis in a nutshell. There's more information on my website, riverstonechiropractic.com. Please check it out, and we'll see you next time.